Hello guys, what's up? The Code Talk is here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to have coding challenge. We're going to use PHP's object oriented approach and we're going to use abstraction and create form widget. This is basically what we're going to do. We're going to create an instance of the form. We add a couple of elements inside the form and you see that we call the same method add element, but we pass different instances, text input, password input, button and finally we call render method on the form which renders the form basically with the following following inputs on the form we can also specify the action for example slash register and we can also specify the method right here whether it should be get or post and just like this so the source code is available on my github and you can find the link in the video description as well so the, if you want to just follow with me and do the project with me just check out the following repository for widget right here you have the index php just clone this and follow with me if you want final version switch to the final version branch and right here you will have all the classes what you are interested what we're going to create actually in this video okay let's immediately start and i'm gonna jump into php storm and start my php storms built-in uh, server php's built-in server php minus s localhost port 8080 and let's just open this in the browser localhost port 8080 and this is what we see so far so we don't have any of the classes right here that's why we see so many errors okay let's start with the uh, form okay and see how we're going to proceed so i'm going to create right here a class of form and as we see the form needs to have method add element okay where we pass sometimes text input sometimes password input and sometimes button so here is the idea we need to create a base class which will be the parent class of text input password input and the button as well and we're gonna work with this uh, with this parent class okay but this class needs to be abstract because it doesn't actually know how the element should be rendered whether it will be button text or whatever is this okay so I'm going to actually create HTML element class which has uh, let me delete these things okay which has abstract public function render okay the only thing uh, this class knows that the render must return a string okay for text input it will be uh, for example the input type text for password input it will be input type password for button it will be button and so on okay let's make this class abstract and now let's jump back to the form and right here I'm going to delete this one as well and right here I'm going to create a public function add element okay and this add element accepts as an argument HTML element okay and this must save inside internal array okay uh, let's make a protected internal array that will be elements I can also add the annotation that hey this array this elements array is not just an array but it's an array of HTML elements using this approach okay and inside these add elements I'm gonna add inside the elements array the given element and finally I'm gonna call the render method on the form this is how it is written inside the index PHP so actually because the form is also an HTML element I can extend this from HTML element using this approach I am forced to implement the render method right here okay which is fine so I'm gonna hit alt and enter add method stops and hit OK and right here this is the render method so how the form should be rendered obviously it needs to be form opening and form closing tags and inside we need content and we need also some attributes like action and method on it okay on the form we need this action and method so I'm going to declare these variables right here as well let's make them public public string action uh, and public string method okay 
Now I'm going to hit Alt and Insert again, generate constructor, select both properties, action and method, hit OK, and the constructor was generated. And I'm going to make both of them to be optional, action by default to be an empty string, and method by default to be a get. Okay, perfect. Uh, now, right here, we can already pass action and method in this form constructor. Okay, I'm going to leave this uh, now as it is. Let's go to the form and scroll down. And right here, I'm going to pass this action and method which is received in the constructor. So I'm going to uh, return the content of the form. Just right here, I'm going to need action. Action equals to this action, whatever it is this. And right here, I need method equals this method. And right inside the form opening and closing text, we need the um, each individual element to be rendered accordingly. Okay, so I'm going to use printf function. This printf function takes this string, takes other arguments, and formats the first argument string with the other arguments. So let me show you if you are not familiar with this. I'm going to put a placeholder right here, percent and s, which means that this will be replaced with string value. Right here, I'm going to have percent and s as well. Okay? And right here as well, because these are the three placeholders I want to fill up. Then I'm going to pass right here this action, this method right here, and I'm going to pass also the content. Okay, so the content will be uh, the uh, the uh, rendered elements concatenated together. So for this, I'm going to use array map. Okay, and I'm going to use PHP 7 points, uh, 7.4's um, the uh, arrow function. So fn right here, I get the element, and I'm going to call element render. Okay, and I'm going to pass the second argument to be this elements okay just like this so and each individual element because these elements are the html elements i know that each individual element has a render method and that's why this will return an array of rendered elements html elements and we need to of course concatenate them into single string so i'm going to use implode and i'm going to concatenate them with php end of line just like this, and right here I have the content and the third, uh, the third variable which needs to be replaced inside this form will be content. Oops, just like this. Okay, um, okay, fine. Let's go to the index PHP and have a look. So we don't have this text input, we don't have password input, we don't have a button, but we have implemented the form. Okay, so, so how the form should look like. Um, okay, let's create now text input. So, text input. Okay, this text input um, is an input element. Let me delete this one as well. So, that's why also the password input is an input element. And there are some common things for all input elements. So, maybe, maybe we need to create one more class which will be base input. And you will right now understand why I'm doing this. So this base input will have a couple of common properties for all inputs. For example, public uh, public string label. All input needs some kind of label. Public string name. All input has name and value as well. And I'm going to generate right now a constructor with all three properties. Uh, just I'm going to make the the value to be optional okay and let's make label and name to be uh, to be mandatory but let's just reverse in the reverse order okay so first name then label i'm gonna replace it right here as well um just like this okay and we can even make the label optional if we want it's it's up to us so i'm gonna leave this like this so um, and right now we need to implement the uh, render method. So, but we cannot have the render method inside this base input because it might be text input, it might be password input, we don't know about it. Okay, so I think I need to move this down properties together, then methods. Okay, fine. Now let's go to the text input and I'm going to extend from the base input. 
okay? So this base input can even be, uh, first of all, this base input must extend HTML element, okay? And right here, either we need to implement the render method in this base input, or we need to make the class abstract. We can't implement the base, the render method right here, so we just need to make this abstract. In this case, the text input must implement the render method. So I'm going to hit Alt and Enter, uh, add method stops, and I'm going to render, uh, add the uh, render method. Right here in the text, so here's what I'm going to do. So return, and I'm, I'm going to return not only input, just like this, but I also want to uh, render some kind of container for each input, okay? So I want div, for example, uh, oops, just like this. Uh, inside the div, uh, I want to have a label, okay? And I'm gonna put br right here, and then I want to have this input, okay? And just like we did for the form, I'm going to use sprint f, okay? Sprint f. And I need I will need a couple of placeholders. So first of all, the label right here. Then right here we have the the input name equals um percent s, the value equals percent s, okay? And I'm going to re replace these three values. So right here we're going to specify this the first thing is the label second is this um, this name and then we have this value okay so using this approach uh, I have successfully implemented and I'm going to specify right here that the type needs to be text okay and now let's have a look so we need something similar for the password input okay so let's do this password input and let's just copy and paste this render method right here. I'm going to extend from base input and I'm going to delete these things. Okay, and here we have the password input. And let's implement the button as well and then we're going to make some adjustments. Okay, this path button doesn't extend base input, it simply extends HTML element and it has to implement the uh, render method and inside the render method, it will just return uh, the button tag uh, oops, with the text inside. So I'm going to create a public property right here, public uh, string, um, let's call it text. I'm going to generate the constructor for text. Okay, I, it's accepted right here, and I'm going to put percent %s right here and call the Sprint f also right here and this text is provided okay fine now in the index php we have all the classes imported they do exist let's open and have a look in the browser okay so the html element class doesn't exist that's obvious so let's include this class as a very first thing i don't use the composer and auto loading i just wanted to focus on the object oriented principles and abstraction so if you want just create composer json and replace all these bunch of uh, useless uh, requires with just one require of auto load um, okay so let's have a look now base input needs also uh, to be included right here let's have a look and this is how it looks like so we have successfully rendered the form and let's inspect and have a look so let, let me zoom in inspect and right here we have this form with empty action and method get div with a label input second div and button so everything looks very good so however i want to make one more improvement so whenever we create the third type of input for example select uh, we have to copy and paste this whole thing. So the only the only difference between the two input um, classes, let's go to the password input by the way, and this should be password, okay? And the only difference is right here between um, this text input and the password input is inside this type attribute, okay? This is text, right here we have password. And if we have select, this line will be different. So we can make it uh, even more, even even better, and we can have the following thing. Inside the base input, this, 
we'll have a method um, for example um, public function render okay which will render string for sure and I'm gonna copy this thing paste right here and so this is the render of the base input I'm just thinking and I'm gonna create right here an abstract public function um, render input okay here we go so we have used abstraction also right here and the render method looks like this but right here so I'm going to put the placeholder and we need the label but we don't need the name and the value right here so I'm going to replace this with this render input okay and the render input must return string and it must be abstract okay and this render input needs to be implemented inside the child class inside the text input for example so the render is in implemented already in the base input so we have to implement render input which is the only abstract class at the moment so and instead of returning this thing with the label and beer and everything I'm just gonna return printf pass this and we just need to pass well, this is the text input so right here we need text and we just need to pass this name and this value okay so just like this we don't want this render method at all so now I'm gonna copy this go to the password input replace and right here I'm just gonna spe specify password and just refresh the result is the same however we have written much less code so the layout of the every input is basically the same so uh, let's go to the base input it has this div maybe we can add some class right here if we are using bootstrap probably this will be form form group for example the label will have its own class maybe right here we can have a div with class in invalid feedback so for some feedback and so on so we have all these bunch of HTML in a single place and we have just one abstract method render input and using this approach everything works fine so if you just right now want to create new input type whether it will it will be date I think date in type input number will be very straightforward and easy we just have to copy and paste this class and change this single place okay which is which is very good but if we want to implement for example select which has additional options uh, drop down options we can add um, additional properties right here in the select class and use that properties to render but we only focus on the render input without its layout and the label also is declared in the parent class not inside the child classes the code what I have just written might be slightly different from the code what you see as a final version on GitHub. That's because every time the developer writes some code, it might write they, they might write it differently. I generally do like this. I, I don't know my code by heart. I know my code by idea. So whenever I have to write the same thing more than once, I write it slightly differently every time. And this is the, probably one of the best example of this. Um, that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it if so hit the like and subscribe buttons I'm working right now at the moment on building a custom PHP framework um, using PHP it will be several hours video if you are watching this in the future check out the video description maybe I have already uploaded this video and this will video will be pure educational but you will learn a lot of things right there okay yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching and see you in the next time